if you are using any shared hosting then you have seen this kind of server response time problem high server response time or ttf where first byte time is pretty high here you can see 600 700 it is quite a bit high if you use the dedicated server or the vps this will be low around 30 40 milliseconds but it cost too much money but here in this video i will show you how you can to reduce this kind of ttf with your share hosting for free so the process will be same for your wordpress website and as well as non wordpress website we have to implement via cloudflare free plan so go to the cloudflare add your website go to the cache and click on the cache rules then click on add rules then first of all what we will do we will cache the full website content by default cloudflare does not cache the http or the web page only static content like js css image that will cast so here in the rules what you will do first of all you will check the host name in the cache rule so it will equal to the domain name i am giving which domain it is so in the next there is two option is there uh, bypass rule or the eligible for cache so we have to click the eligible for cache then the it will be a HTTL. HTTL is basically how much time it will load your old data from your server to the Cloudflare. Means how how often it will refresh the content of the cache from your original server, origin server. So I am setting as it is a block site or static site. So I am whatever I am setting one month or six month does not matter. But if your site is dynamic, like if you are using WooCommerce or any other thing, if your site is dynamic, I recommend you do not apply these rules. Do not cache the whole website. But yes, this is a full static website or the blog website, the content or the page will not replace. If you add new page, it will add it automatically. But the old page content will not replaced unless and until you are giving a very less HTTL so I am giving one month so after applying those settings if you check in the TTFV tester here you can see the time from the 500 or 600 milliseconds reduced to 250 milliseconds and CF cache status there is one response error you can say it is seeing as a heat and there is some life also there so heat means it is being served from the cloudflare server cached version is there full http and full content is being cached not only js or css but the problem is wp admin or some backend urls is not a static one so it is dynamic so for that what we have to do we have to add some cookies that wordpress logged in or not we are going to test those things it is logged in or not and it is the url contains wp admin wp login or not on based on this circumstances it will bypass the cache so in this way it, it will not break your backend and also it will cache the full website front end very easily so i have written the full blog on this particular topic you can check from the link in the description you can read you can apply from the blog so that your wordpress will be fully cached and after that implementation of the Cloudflare full cache schedule to your website where the HTTP or HTML site is also being HTML content is also being cached so after that I got throughput around 1k or 1.5k but before implementing this it was only around 60 or 70 throughput per minute so based on the free tools and you're using the shared server cheap shared server it will reduce the bandwidth and also load and it will serve the website very fast very efficiently all around the world it will does not depend on the location of the server because the content is being copied to all the cloudflare region all around the world so in the dashboard here you can see in the hosting dashboard only 166 requests but here you can see 24,000 requests is there because all the requests being cached from the cdn that's all in this video hope to see you soon in my next video very soon till then goodbye take care